I'm going to show you two ways to update the firmware on your PS5 DualSense controller. Method one is done through your PS5 system. Make sure the console is on and make sure the controller is on. Press the PlayStation button on the controller. Choose the controller icon from the menu that came up. The name of your controller will appear. Choose it. Then in the box to the side, choose controller settings. Go down to the section called DualSense Wireless Controller Device Software and look out to the right. If it says up to date, that means there's nothing for you to do and you no longer need this video. If it says update available, select the option. A screen will come up asking you to plug the controller into the system via USB. Once you do that, just follow the prompts to update it. Method 2 is to update it via a PC. I'll be using Windows 10, but you can also do this in Windows 11. At the time of this video, it can't be done on a Mac. Do an internet search on the term Update DualSense. The first result should be this one, from PlayStation.net. I'll also put a link in the description. Go into it and click Download. This will download the installer for Sony's firmware updater app. I can see it's ready down here on the bottom left. I can either click that or I can go into my download folder and click it from there. After clicking it, just follow all the prompts. At the last prompt, it'll give you the option to immediately launch it. If not, you can find the program by doing a search on your PC for the term firmware updater. With the app running, it'll tell you to connect the controller to the PC using a USB cord. It'll then determine if you have the latest firmware. If it says update available, click update now and complete the process. On the screen right now, you'll see a link to another DualSense video where I talk about how to clean it in order to fix drift related issues. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care everyone.